Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Hey everyone and welcome. So in this video we'll be talking about GitHub tutorial and just we'll be talking about those things which you might be using on a daily basis. Okay, so let's see what are the things. So first of all we'll cover uploading a new pod project to Git. Second is creating a branch when you need to add a feature or when multiple people are working on it and also pull branches like pull data from the branches and the third thing would be a pull request so whenever you are done with a branch you are supposed to send it to the person who owns or who has the power to merge into the master branch right so that's what we'll be talking about and for those people who don't know what git is so git is a place where you store your code and you can on every stage you will have a copy or a snapshot of your code so if you want to go back, if you made a mistake, if your team made a mistake, and if you want to go back, so it handles all those things. You can find more information on git.com. So yeah, this will be totally on the point of how to utilize Git. Okay, so for this one, you will need to have, you'll need to go to github.com. And there are different platforms where you can do this. One is Bitbucket, another is GitLab. Bitbucket is, Bucket is not free but github is totally free so if you are not logged in you might see a page something like this and you might have to sign up if you don't have an account or if you have an account you need to sign in and as I already have an account so I'm just gonna create a uh, this is this will be our main page on your github and this will be a list of repositories okay so we'll be creating a new repo so this is where you create a new repo and we don't need a template and it's just gonna be repository name and I'll have demo demo okay you don't need to uh, you are not it's just optional you don't need to write a description also you have an option to have a public or a private so private is free before it was not but now they have made it free but we don't really care too much about privacy so we'll keep it public okay I'm going to create a repository and then it's gonna show me the list of commands that I can do okay so if you have a totally new repository you might like no files in it and you want to create a file this is how you would do it but in our case let's say we were doing a react project and if I did a npx create react app which I already did for git demo so it is ready and all we need to do is now upload it on our github right so let's do that git let's first of all go into it so cd git demo clear and this is a repo let me make it a bit bigger okay and all right so git status if I do a git status it's just gonna say it's on branch master because I have already git installed so okay so in order to see our code forwarded here or like published here what I need to do is git first step would be git add and if this is not an initialized repository you might need to do git init so git init right and it says reinitialize so you might see that initialize uh, like git repository and something like this in your path name okay so next would be git add dot means everything and if you want to add a specific file you can even do that let's say sr but at this point we want to add everything right so you'll just have a dot next step would be to commit so git commit and you have an optional message here so every time a first commit would be named as a first, first commit right so first commit or you can have whatever you want here okay get commit uh, dash m and first commit okay we did that and get now what we need to do here is we need to go to this because we have an existing repository right so we'll have a git remote add so this means that it is adding to a remote repository so we did this and it's okay and then you need to do a git push u origin and master 
OK. So it, as you see, it is committing. And in just a bit, it will be done. OK, so as you see here, it's published to master. And if you refresh the page, you'll see your code or your files here. OK, so we have everything at this point, And you see that this was initialized. And two hours ago is because when I created this project, it was like two hours ago. So, OK, so we have this the package here and now let's see that if we do some modification to this let's say I just remove the readme right so if I go to my desktop and let me try to remove it okay if I remove readme moto trash and let's see what do we have so git status is something where you check what exactly happened to the folder or repository right so here you will see that one file was deleted which is the readme and you should do a git add and git commit a and something like they are going to give you some suggestion okay so we'll do a git add and every time most of the time you just do a dot there are some cases when you don't want to have or add everything you just put a specific file after add but most of the time you'll do a dot Okay, git commit removed readme and git push u origin master. Right, so if you do this, it is going to push into our repository and it is done. Let's refresh it and you'll see that the uh, uh, readme is gone. Right, so and the last commit was 19 seconds ago. If you want to go to the commits, what you should do here is issue code pull request. Let's say I went here, they might have changed some. Okay, this is a bit changed before it was that you had a bunch of commits on this side. Okay, no worries. So, remote readme this is a message which I had initialized project with create react app. This is something which we get from. When you do the npx okay so this is there and everything is looking perfect right okay so this pull request is from some other thing which is a dependency of npx so we can just ignore it okay so moving forward to the next step is okay great so as we saw already that how to upload a new project or existing project to git now let's take a look at how to create a branch and have a or pull a branch or pull data from the branch okay so let's say in a scenario in which you had to or your company is having a job listing portal and now you have a feature request and feature request is to have like and comment on your listing so for that one what you need to do is you need to make a copy of your master and start working on it and once it is done you push it or you make a pull request so that the reviewer can verify the code and verify if the like and comment is working and then after that they will merge it into the master okay so for that one what you need to do is we need to do branching right so if you want to check how many branches are there at the moment so you need to do git branch if you are not able to see it let me make it a bit bigger okay branch so at this moment we just have one branch master and in order to create a new branch we'll do a git branch and we'll have a branch name so like comment and git checkout like comment okay so we are switched to the new branch which is like and comment and let's say we are working on the feature and we completed the feature and the feature was something like h1 like comment so this won't be just a h1 tag it, it will be a lot of logic in it but just for the simplicity we'll just have like and comment so if you go back to your terminal and if you do a git status so as you already have seen that git status gives you the current status of your changes so it says like 
changes are not staged for commit and all you need to do is git add git commit and that's it so but now as you know that this is a new branch right so branch let's say which branch is it on like and comment so if you are to push it to master it won't happen so let's say clear git status will uh, we saw the status now we need to get, have a git add git commit and this will be a like and comment implementation and just because you are working on different different branch you are not supposed to push this thing to master and maybe it might throw an error if you try to push it to master but we'll we'll see okay so the standard way is to push it to a new branch so git push u origin and then your branch name so like comment this will be your branch name so if we do this it is going to create a new branch on the remote so if we go once this is done if we go back to github it's going to have a new branch like comment was recently pushed less than a minute ago and if you see here we have a new branch which is called like and comment and in this one you might see some changes right so what are those changes let's see 37 seconds ago and one minute ago okay so you see that we have a like and comment here but if we go to another branch let's say the master one let's see what do we have there okay it just refreshed and we don't have like and comment so this is where we have successfully created a new branch worked on it and pushed it to not the master but to a uh, ready for pull request so at least the reviewer can check what exactly you have pushed right so they can go and take a look at the branches and if you feel this is okay then you can make a pull request which will be seen in just a bit okay okay so let's see how are we going to create a pull request so pull request is something which is going to tell the reviewer let's say there are multiple people working on a project so you will be having one person who is going to review all the code and then pass it to production right or master so that reviewer is going to verify that everything is okay and there could be multiple people who will be reviewing right so for this reason they give you a link create a pull request for like comment on github by visiting this particular link right so you just copy and paste that link and this won't work because I think the complete name is complete name is T so I'll have a comment T and let's see okay great so we can see the like and comment implementation it was committed just recently and what was the commit it was like and comment right okay so this is going to give you a create a pull request right so create and you can leave a comment this this is going to be a description what exactly it means and we don't want it to merge automatically this branch will be automatically merged right so we don't want to do that we'll have a reviewer but this is a single project so we don't have a reviewer so this might directly go into merge because we don't have any other people working on this so let's see what happens okay so this was pushed and I guess yeah it was not merged so it so it shows that we need to manually merge it with it from here so in this case what happened was that we created a successful pull request which tells you that like and comment implementation was completed completed by so and so and also it might give you a good description what exactly is in this project right now we don't have it but or this commit or this pull request and you can see the file changes and also there there should be a way to approve it or yeah, you can comment approve or request changes right at this moment we'll just directly I guess merge it so I'll go into the open pull request uh, conversation I don't think it's gonna be conversation but yeah pull request 
and not a new pull request but this and simply we need to do is a merge right so create a merge and let's do that confirm merge okay merging and that's it the merge and the br branch was closed okay great it was deleted and we can successfully delete it from our from our local one as well because remember there are there are going to be two branches one on remote and one on our local so this was deleted from remote let's say if we go to demo demo and we might not see like comment as a branch okay it is still there so we might have to delete it manually so let's see if we refresh it but at least we can successfully remove it from here but remember you need to you cannot delete a branch by being on the same branch right so get branch let's say if i am on like comment i cannot delete like comment because i'm on the same branch it's like if you are on the same tree if you delete the branch it's gonna be a problem right so get checkout master i need to go to the master first and get branch d d capital and like comment so this is done and if i am on master right so if i do a git status get status if i do a git pull right now you don't see any changes right but if i do a git pull i might see something different see this was changed and if i do a git diff there's nothing but if i if, yeah the git diff is something where you see the differences between the last commit and your currently modified code so right now we don't we won't be having any git differences but yep this changes are committed okay so okay this is still there so there, there is a way to manually delete the branch from uh, from the repo as well okay so as we already as we discussed that we were about to cover upload a new project create a branch pull branch pull request and merge we did that successfully so this is most most of the time you will be working on whenever you are on a project and when you are working with a team and there are a lot of different commands which we can go into depth later on but yeah let us know how or how useful was this video and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel don't forget to subscribe it and also check out our instagram page we post a lot of react related content there so i'll see you next time and have a good one Bye bye